right in the bottom of the map. Dude, Mario, I think this is an amphibian. Hold on. Hold on. It walks? The southern tip of Florida is blanketed by a seemingly endless expanse of swampland known as the Everglades. This massive, slow-moving river is a wild place that spans over 1.5 million acres and is home to hundreds of animal species. During the light of day, most of these creatures stay hidden from the sun's scorching rays. Yet as the sun sinks beyond the western horizon, the hidden come out to hunt under the cover of darkness. On this sweltering evening, the crew and I are also on the hunt. Only our goal isn't to eat what we catch, but instead to educate you about the fascinating creatures that call this thriving ecosystem home. During the dry season, animals congregate in the deeper flows of water. And by following this consistent vein of hydration, we happen to stumble upon one of the most bizarre creatures in Florida. Well, as you guys can tell, the sun has officially disappeared and darkness has set in. We are in the middle of the Everglades right now and I'm standing in a waterway. Check this out. It's a little soupy down here. Yeah, it is gonna get soggy, it is gonna get muddy. Now this is an airboat trail, which is perfect for airboats and also perfect for us to walk through because it keeps us out of the sawgrass. Now I wanna head in this direction and there are a number of different creatures we can come across tonight. I have a small net with me and as you can see, the water is very murky and it is also filled with gloppy mud. It's gonna make seeing animals really difficult. So if there's any movement, I'm gonna try to scoop it up with the net. And with any luck, we're gonna get some cool creatures up close for the cameras. You guys ready to start the adventure? Let's do it. All right, here we go, into the darkness. Uh, temperatures are pretty nice. Just mud. Temperatures are pretty nice tonight. Not too, too many mosquitoes. I was afraid we we're gonna get totally eaten alive out here. So far, that makes me so happy. Good. Why are you getting bit? Not too much. That is slow moving through this environment. We're actually right in the middle of the dry season here in the Everglades, but even still, point your camera down here. You see all these plants that we're moving through. This is thick, constantly grabbing your ankles. So far, I've seen nothing. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. There are gonna be creatures out here. Look at that. A walking stick just showed up on my shirt. Yeah, the Everglades are definitely alive with insects tonight. Look at that guy. Go ahead and zoom in. Wow, how cool looking is that? Buddy, let's get you back into the grass. Oh, there you go. Dropped him down there. All right, let's keep heading through the grass here. Wow, check this out. This entire bush is covered in lubber grasshoppers. Now these are juveniles. Look at this. Go ahead and zoom in on these ones up here, right next to a little tiny spider web. No, buddy, those are too big for you to catch. You know what? Let me pick one off of there real quick and let's take a good look at it. Got it. Ooh, that one jumped down there. Hey, check this out. I'm just gonna set it out of my hand, see if it'll stay there for a second. Look at the beautiful coloration on this insect. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Looks like he was painted with one of those machines. Oh, that makes stripes down the middle of the freeway with that yellow line down the center of its back. Yeah, let me get him again here. That's a pretty cool little insect right there. I wish it was, oh, oh, he's spitting on me. Oh, stinks. All right, well, we'll let him back to his business. Now let's keep searching for bigger creatures. Oh, guys, an eel, eel. You got something? I got it, I got it, I got it. What do you got? It's an eel. Right in the bottom of the net. I got to come up here, come up here. Oh, 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 there's his head coming out right there. Move back, 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 back. Wow. 
That is so cool. All oh, I can see is mud. Point your camera. No, no, no. Look at look, there's the side of its body right there. Whoa. Oh, it's filling like the entire bottom of the net. Wow. All right, let's take it back up onto this dry spot. Here, Mario, get that. Uh, here, Mario. Get you. that container. Yeah, Mark, hand him that camera here. Mark's still trying to get this shot. Look at that. Wow. He's not being too, too crazy active. Oh, they're starting to move. Look at that. Nice. Actually, that's not an eel. What? What is it, a catfish? No. Dude, Mario. Yeah. I think this is an amphenia. Is that, is that how you say it? Am, am, amphiuma. 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 Let me see. Dude, I don't think this is an eel at all. Look at this. Oh, yeah, dude, that's totally an Ephiuma. Is it really? Yeah. No way. Okay, guys, this is oh, not man. an eel. What is it? It's actually a huge salamander. Yeah, look, I got this uh, little bucket of water. Okay, here, yeah, yeah, let's get in, get in here. Back up a little bit further. Oh, little... oh, oh. Oh. Here, here, here. Hold on, hold on. Don't let it get out. Don't let it get out. Keep the net over the top of it. That's an Ephiuma. Holy cow. Um, okay, we have caught a really good size, huge salamander. This is almost like a hellbender in a sense, but you'll oftentimes find them in muddy ditches like this. This is crazy. Okay, a little bit of chaos there. Um, wow. All right, let's back up a little bit further. They're extremely quick. I definitely don't want it to get back into the water. Uh, let's find a dry spot up here and get it up closer to the cameras. Sweet. Whoa, that is so cool. Here we go, just mat this down. Man. So basically we're crazy. all standing on like a big sponge right now. Oh yeah, we're gonna be sunk up to our knees before we know it, but I wanted us to have a good flat platform to be able to look at this amphibian. Okay, it's gonna be really tough to handle, just like an eel or a hellbender. It is a very fragile amphibian. Again, an amphibian, it's a big salamander. It is not an eel at all, but oftentimes these are mistaken for eels. Now it's gonna be almost impossible to hold down to, so I'm gonna see if I can get it to just lay flat in my hands. Come here, buddy. I do want to be careful because they can give you a pretty nasty bite. All right, wow. Cody, you're gonna have to give me the name of this one more time. What is it called? It is an amphuma. Amphuma. All right, let me see if I can. Whoa! Whoa. Wait, wait. Hold, on. Whoa. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, just let it hang out for a second. That's actually good. We it's want it walking. to do just that. It, it walks. Is, it does. It has small vestigial legs, and what it'll actually try to do is burrow down. We don't want that to happen. Come here, buddy. Let me bring it back up. Okay, it is really, really hard to hold on to. I want to sort of cradle it in my arms if I can. It's gonna be really tough for you guys to get shots. Okay, I'm gonna have to kind of hold it up close to my body like this. Let's see, hold on. Ooh, it's sliming me. You know what? It's gonna be impossible to hold on to just like the eel. I'm gonna actually keep it in the bucket for a second. Um, oh, look at that. Now all of that mucus that's on my gloves, Mark, I'd say put your hands out there and touch that, but you hear that? I'm good. Yeah, that is a defensive tactic right there. Makes it more slippery, impossible for a predator to hold on to. Actually, what I might be able to do is place it on the underside. Oh, look, he's coming up out of the out of the thing here. Let me see if I can actually place it on the flat of my backpack here. We have an escape artist. It's okay, let him out for a second, and I'm gonna place him right here and see if we can get him to just stay put. Ooh, they're quick. All right, buddy, let me see, real gentle, real gentle. All right, look at that. Look at the pointy nature of its snout. Now these things are incredibly good at burrowing down into the mud and the muck. Now oftentimes you will come across these and believe it or not, ditches. They like to bury themselves under leaves, they stay in shallow water, and they're hunting for crayfish. Wow, an amphuma. This is a creature that I have never seen before. I definitely thought it was an eel. You can easily see how you would confuse it with an eel. But like I said, this is indeed an amphibian, a very large salamander, similar to the hellbender, actually one of the largest salamander species in the world. They can grow to nearly 50 inches in length. Look at that, look at the way that it slinks along the backpack. They have an incredible ability to sense things in their environment because just like a fish, they have a lateral line that runs down the entire length of their body. So right now what he's feeling is this little groove and he's saying, okay, this is a good spot to hide. If I don't move, no one's gonna eat me. Don't worry, buddy, we're not gonna try to eat you. Oh, okay, there he goes. Coming back down this way. Here he comes, here he comes, right there. Look oh. at that. So this is an amphibian, so it can, is it, it can be out of the water then, I'm assuming. Yes, not for too long. Now, different from some salamander species, these salamanders actually have fully developed lungs and they can stay out of the water for a considerable amount of time. Look at that, you can actually see it taking breaths of air right there. You know, I'm gonna get him back into the bucket of water here. Here we go, buddy, in here. Okay, there we go. 
I'm gonna keep the gloves on, and that's not because I'm using them to handle the animal. Honestly, it's just making it more slippery, but they actually have teeth. Imagine that, a salamander having a pretty powerful bite. These have a double row of teeth on the top jaw and a very sharp row of teeth on the lower jaw, and they can give you quite a chomp. Really, that can bite you really badly? Oh yeah, and not only do they bite, but when they bite onto things, they bite and they spin, almost like a death roll that a crocodile would do, and actually take a chunk out of your skin. Woo! There it is. There he is. Now I've actually read that if these things are eaten by a predator, they will give off a death cry, sort of like a rabbit. You know when a rabbit gets eaten by something, you hear that screaming? I've actually heard that these things are capable of making a pretty high-pitched noise. Oh man, this is so cool looking. You may be looking at a creature like this and saying to yourself, well, what does this salamander eat? They actually specialize in eating crayfish, but they will also take small fish, frogs, and occasionally even little snakes. All right, Mario, go ahead and zoom in on the eyes there. Look at that, they're almost clouded. Those are vestigial, which means that they hardly use them. They can sense a little bit of light, but it looks as if there's almost a scale or a skin layer over the top of them that keeps them protected. They do not have eyelids like some amphibian species. Now, are these rare or are they common? I mean, I would consider them rare, but it's more that they're elusive. I mean, they are out there. It's just a matter of being in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. And what I saw in the water was just sort of movement through the grasses, saw just the shape of its body, and immediately my instinct said, oh, it's an eel, scoop it up with the net. Never in a million years did I think that we were gonna come across a creature like this. But how cool was that? finding an Amphiuma right here in the Florida Everglades. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's get him back into the canal. Come on, little buddy. Throughout my years exploring the wild and getting up close with animals, nothing has been more alien-like in appearance than the Amphiuma. And despite being one of the largest amphibians in the world, they are seldom seen and nearly impossible to catch. So getting this aquatic oddity up close for the cameras was truly an incredible encounter. If you thought the Amphiuma was bizarre, make sure to go back and watch the episode where we managed to catch its slippery cousin, the Sicilian. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.